my people. This story is more to this story. There's more to this uh, Juno Pope. Juno Pope RYP. Wala de. Wala full everywhere. Sometimes. This life, we just have to be careful and then um, make sure they know people when they're there around us. Some people, they are a failure. When I will watch this video now, it will tell now the full story of this video, how everything started from the beginning to the ending. May you for 10 no say our people. Mm -mm. Not be him. They are busy making videos. Their own is to make video. Now, my question is, as they bring the command for river immediately, why they not can go hospital straight away? Why? Straight away, first of all. Hospitals to before anything, before any talk, before anybody, before legal, 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 legal. Hospital street. That was supposed to be the best thing to do first, but no. He said he was disappointed. They were busy doing what? Making videos. Everybody's content creator. I want to be the first person to post it. Post what? Somebody buy? Post something that is not somebody buy? Make you watch this video for more updates. If you never subscribe, I beg subscribe. Put on your notification bell so that anytime when I put any program, you go down. I'm the very first people you go see. Make you follow me, they share my video. Make you like if they watch me on Facebook. Press the button that said follow. My people, let's regard this video. Leave your comment for the comment section. Tell me what you think about this boy. Bye. Miss Gentle so rest in peace. Some people say, ah, what you carry on this life? You don't make I never make I never supposed to buy. You know, pop no one's supposed to buy. He buy it out of carelessness. And I see they talking and I stand by my word. And there's no going back. I have a head from Gino Pope. Probably before that time, I spoke with Gino Pope that same day. I, I think from the timing that the that we found out, the timing, I think I was the last person who spoke to Gino Pope on the phone before he died. Yes, I think, I'm not very sure, but I think I might just be the last person that he spoke with on the phone before before he passed so because he was supposed to pick up his tickets for my show that same day in the evening so we're talking why he was entering the booth we we're on the phone that was 12 49 p.m on uh, on the 10th so as we we're talking he was about entering the booth it was not like how am i preparing i said i did the push am i was just playfully saying and i told him i said you don't forget me since why did the for show i never hear from you you know, he said, oh, I'm not true, not true. Don't be lying, my brother, my head full. Many things for a person to do. So how did they prepare? I said, ah, oh, we're pushing it. We're doing it. We're doing our best. And God is helping us. And he now said, okay, so where my ticket now? How do they get them? I said, let me make me they call you. Where you did, make I bring your ticket. He said, ah, oh, where I did far? That's what he said. Where I did far? Close to Onisha Bridge. I said, eh. Hey. He said, yes, yes. Say with the shoot. So I think on the background, I was hearing some, you know, some voices. I think they were preparing to move. And some were already boarding. So he now said, okay, you know what famous? If I enter inside town, I make I call you. I want I want shoot now, I want shoot now, I want shoot. So he started rushing and and that was it. So I was now waiting for his call. I now said, okay, you know what? By the time I'll be picking these people from the airport and maybe do one or two things, he must have come into town. So I'll give him the tickets. Because I've I've been in Asama for over a month because of the show preparation. So I got a call as I was leaving the airport from my brother on uh, on the 10th. So as we we're talking, he was about entering the boat. It was not like, how am I preparing? I said, I did the push and I was just playfully saying, and I told him, I said, you don't forget me. Since why did the ref was show, I never hear from you. You know, he said, oh, not true, not true. Don't be lying, my brother, my head full. Many things for a person to do. So how did they prepare? I said, ah, we're pushing it. We're doing it. We're doing our best. And God is helping us. And he now said, okay, so where my ticket now? How do they get them? I said, now make me they call you. Where you did, make I bring your ticket. He said, ah, where I did, far. 
That's what he said. Where are they far? Close to Onisha Bridge. I say, eh, hey. he say yes, yes, say would they shoot. So I think for the background, I was hearing some, you know, some voices. I think they were down, some show preparation. So I got a call as I was leaving the airport from my brother. I said, have you heard from Junior Pope? I said, no. Uh, yes, I spoke with him earlier. I said, but what do you mean? He said, someone called him now, Junior Pope is dead. I said, it's not possible. I spoke with Junior Pope by two of this afternoon. The next thing I called the wife. She peeked that she was tense, she was panicking. I said, okay, what did you hear? See, he said, I famous, I just hope it's a joke. They just called me now. They told me that something happened to my husband. I know it's a joke. I said, okay, where are you now? She said, she saw me around the road. I said, where exactly? Look around you. Tell me anywhere you are. Just look anywhere. He said, she's, she's close to a particular place. And I said, okay, you know what? Wait for me at the front of McDonald's. So I even got there before her I, because I was speeding. Got to McDonald's with the guest I picked from the airport. And so I directed her how to park her car. She was driving recklessly. This woman was confused. She didn't know. Of course, you know now, somebody who's husband um, is all over the news that he's dead how she would so i told her to join me in my car so we drove we went straight to the scene and so when we got to the place and i, I got some persons to hold her you know while i go close to the water to you know find out because it was it was a there was a very large crowd when i say large crowd a lot of people a lot of people in that place so i started you know you know, trying to create space, pushing people so I could get to the front and see what was going on. And on getting there, I saw one of the guys on the floor. They said that one was dead and JP was just lying beside him with their face covered with their singlets. And so they removed it and I saw that it was JP. I was cold. Like, my legs were shaking. I couldn't talk. I couldn't. So how do I go back? I tell the wife, because I was trying to convince her that it's not true, that the, the husband is still alive. She should calm down. So I told her to hold on. Let me go and check. She was crying. I said she wanted to follow me. I said, no, hold on. The crowd is too much. So at first, how am I supposed to go back? I tell this woman that something I've been giving her hope for. All the while we're driving to the place, even getting there. How do I tell her that it's true? I was confused. I didn't know what to do. My eyes were bulging out. I was cold. I was shaking. I, I couldn't even cry. I didn't know how to feel. I didn't understand anything. And so they, you know, turned him upside down. They turned him upside down and you know, they were shaking him. They said they had done the CPR and everything they could do, and he wasn't moving. But some facts. First, that other guy, his stomach was already strong, but JP soon was not. That guy was a little puffy, you know, a, you know, a little swollen, but JP was still normal, except at that time he already had, you know, black lips. And I went back. They started saying that they need to take the court, said the court, um, the police to you know, get the bodies and all of that. So I think whether the police or I don't know, someone came with a truck, they put their bodies in the truck. And I then I was already back to the wife. Now this truck was, and I was convinced her that we should leave the place. Some persons told me to take her away, but she refused. And so they drove her. They drove him and the other guy past the wife and she screamed out loud. I could have showed you some of the videos, but I did not make any video that day. I couldn't make video. I didn't come there to make videos. It was on that day that I found out that 95% of the young people in this country are now content creators who create content with everything. There were some of the people I called. You want to do it? I was, the, the major person that was calling me that day was Uju Okoli. But Uju was in Lagos. At the point when they took the, the, the body and passed the wife, you know, she started screaming. And from there, they said we were going to a certain hospital. I didn't know the hospital. At the same time, I didn't want to take the wife there to the hospital. So I called the whiner. They tell her, see, I'm trying to make calls to know 
where they are. I don't really know where they are. You know, I just try the wine and make she do because she was forcing me. She said, if I don't take her to where her husband is, that she's going to jump out of my car. So I was calling some Nollywood women. They will help me hold her now because me, I'll be man. You know, maybe they hold a uh, woman when they cry. Most times when somebody by man would they console, uh, men would they console the man, uh, women would they console the woman, you know, but some of these people, we finally, finally got to the hospital. Some of the actors or Nollywood people had a call to help me hold the wife. If, if they come hospital, they go pass me. Go do video, go do video first. At the end of the day, I was still the one holding this woman. Until later on, one of her friends called me, called me, uh, Mrs. GMO. She called me and said, this way, what's happening? Is it true? Uh, so, so she went to the wife to her house. We got there, the woman joined us in the car and went back to the hospital again. So I was still with her. You know, they already took the guy to the morgue. No, they didn't, they didn't enter inside the mortuary because the mortuary attendant refused and said, if he's going to stay here, he can only stay for only three days because he died in the water. So at, at, at that moment, Mr. Nadania started calling me. Mr. Nadania called me and said, yeah, where are you guys? What's happening? Is it true? She was just crying and just, you know. So me, I tell her, I said, you hold yourself. Oh, I'm trying to see how I can hold this woman. So if, if I'm going to tell you where we are, if you are going to come here, you have to, you know, arrange yourself so that it doesn't get worse for the wife. So it was difficult for Regina Daniel, but I directed her to the hospital, St. Joseph Hospital in Asaba. At this time, there was a large crowd, more than 500 persons in the hospital. And so Regina Daniel got there. Regina Daniel was, uh, she came with her mom and a few other persons. I think they were the first set of people who came and their focus first went to the wife. You know, every other person won't do video, every other person won't do many, many things that will post later. You know, I don't have, like I said in the previous video, I don't have, I don't have videos, you know, for all of these things because at that moment, I don't even remember saying camera did for insightful. You know, so she was in my car, you know, Daniel and her mom, they were with her, consoling her, crying and praying with her and all of that. So, while we were there, some person, everyone, see, we had a larger percentage of illiterates in that hospital at that moment. Graduating, they're not plenty. People will get exposed minds, no plenty. People will be civilized, no plenty. And many people were not what I thought they was. They were, rather. Many people were not what I thought they were. You know, some people, you know, some people know, man, not go into all those details, sir, because if I want to talk about those parts, come on, I should say internet will break, but let's just leave it. Let's, let's leave it like that. Because at the end of the day, for this entertainment industry, people, they serve God, they very few, very, very few. That day, I felt like it was only myself. No, a few other persons, they were... Why were they? She now said she wants to see her husband. And her father refused. Some other persons agreed, some refused. Me, I was of the opinion that let her see her husband. At the end of the day, she goes to see him. If she goes see him today, she goes see him tomorrow. She goes see him next tomorrow. Before he's going to be buried, she will see him. So when she just said, she was crying and saying that she wants to talk to her husband. If she talks to her husband, her husband will wake up. Her husband will listen to her. So finally they agreed. We started walking towards where the husband was. Some Nollywood people intercepted and said, no, she cannot see her husband, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, why? Is this some, some form of tradition? What is your reason? There's no husband, by make you see your husband body now. At least, make she rest, make she agree, say, it don't happen, you know? So they refused. After a while, they said, okay, she can come now. We were going again, they intercepted her again and sent her back. This time around, the Nadalia's mom was there and all those the held her and said she has to see her husband. As we were approaching, the next thing we heard, Jinobo is alive, Jinobo is alive, hey, 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 is alive. One, one stupid boy was the one that started that news. You know, before, meanwhile, before then, only Michael was saying that he doesn't believe that Jinobo is dead, that we can do something, we can do this. He was just trying to come up with ideas. You know, he said he doesn't believe JP is dead. You know, blah, 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 blah. blah. So, said, even before they brought him out of the river, they said, the, they brought, brought one Babalao that brought him out of the river, that the Babalao said, son has gone down, so he cannot bring anybody from the river. But because Jinopo is a celebrity, he would just try and do it so that fish, fishes would not eat his body and all that. So that was why the Babalao man brought him out. So, only Michael was like, this guy is still alive. He believes that this guy is alive. We should do, we try this, try that. So, why were there one, one idiot? So he said, you know, Pope is alive. He's alive. His hand was shaking. His, hand, his, body, his body shook. And they saw him. His, his hand did like this. And the next thing, 
everyone rushed. This boy that said that do not put his alarm. This boy was not even close to the cops. Like he was not close to the body. He was not even close. Do not put his alarm. And he stood far as people were running towards the body. This boy was recording. He was recording. Like this was like it was like a you like saying prank us. He just like saying prank us. Just the record. So the uncivilized people there. So started hitting him, hitting him, hitting him sleepers. He is alive. We're hitting his leg, hitting, We're hitting his body, hitting him, hitting, using sleepers to wipe this guy. We're hitting him. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Nobody could listen. Okay, let us like the crowd of people surrounding that truck. They march. That's what I'm saying. I was not saying, hey, this guy is alive. Can we organize like a prayer chain? We're already in the hospital. Can the doctor come back and check him again? Or oh, where? Yeah. 95% of the people there had the same opinion that he should be taken back to the river. And that Baba Lauda brought him out. From the river, we got to finally, the IG you know, rushed him, brought him out because the driver of the truck was no longer around. Brought him out of the truck, you know, put him into one leg source. And as they were living, the second guy who was dead is a crew member. The crew member's association or something like that now refused and said, This guy, the Ajino Pope, is not going anywhere if we are going to leave their own person. Like they are going to leave their person, the Ajino Pope is not going anywhere. They used the, they now carry the body of their, their own friend or their colleague, the crew member. They carried his own body and used it to block the gates. It was a huge trauma that day. It was a black thing. They blocked the gate, so people now say, okay, 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 start another car, they carry that other guy, put him in the car, and they sue How do you move somebody? Let's assume Gino Pope's hand shook that time. Go assume say handshake. So let's wait handshake. How do you how do you move him from a hospital to Papalao? How do you do that? Such ideas could have come from only a demon showing on the screen as an actor. How do you do that? Nobody listened to any of us. Everybody just did their mind. So because the people when they were thinking, may doctor check out and let us be praying. You know, people get our opinion not past five. So how we supposed to subdue those many other people? And so since they already left for the river, we had to follow them because his wife was with me. Regina Daniel's aides also joined my car, you know. Regina Daniel, they, they moved, they just start to stay in the front so that they follow me. So they followed me, we got to that place. They carried him straight to the, the, the Babalawu houses, like up, up the hill. You know, he had to climb and climb and climb, got there. By the time we we're getting there, over a thousand people were there already. Anyway, so I got there, they put him near a fire, did, 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 did. The Babala, I think he called some other Babala to join him. He blah, 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 many, many things. I don't know how to do those things. Just leave him down there. He said, he, 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 he. another time again, that same idiot, I said, his hand shook at that time. He to that place again. And he said, yeah, he, 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 he shook now, he shook now. He don't go. Everyone says, he's alive, he's alive, he's alive. And this boy immediately left. The next video this boy made, this thing was happening at Marine, Nibu Marine. And now, River, this boy made his next video at the DBS Road. Because if you check one of those videos, you will see the banner of my show, the billboard of my show. My billboard, no, they marry. My billboard, they DBS. The one showing in that boy's video, that DBS Road the day, front of uh, just after West Empire, before House of the Rock Church. That, that one, like, so this boy was making videos, giving reports of what was happening at the Babalao house and at the hospital while he was on DBS Road. I can't remember, the boy that very dark man was talking about. So, I don't want to mention this, the man who will make a case was moved. So, this guy now said, this guy was making video that he's alive, everyone started posting, he's alive, he's alive, he's alive, he's alive, to the point that even the AGM president, without proper verification, posted that the young man was alive. Later on, he deleted the tweets or the um, stuff that he posted. So, they tried all they could, Jinnah probably did not wake up. There's a part of the story I can see here anyway. There's one side of it that I cannot see. So, that one is for... <laughs> it's too deep, but no Allah. They left that place. I took him back to the hospital you did not believe in. Went back to the hospital. 
the crowd before they reach us to the crowd already they the crowd, at this point the crowd increased again and so on people were struggling doctors could not even do anything the crowd was much people were trooping into the hospital you know it was not even like like the hospital compound like the main hospital ganga people were trooping in crowd even we were carrying the wife with the level so myself regina daniel her mom came back and so regina daniel came back from her came down from her car I was trying to make her way into the front. So I think those people at the front, they had not seen her before. At that whole scenario, they saw it in and started screaming. As in screaming from that front, the people behind thought,